This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a three-core Kirk Interlock module sent to me by Chris in Glen Burnie, Maryland. Modules like this are usually used in industry as safety devices. It would be part of a system of key retaining modules designed to make it physically impossible to perform certain unsafe activities. For instance, this lock might secure a panel covering a live electrical circuit. Then, each of the breakers supplying power to that circuit would also have a key retaining module designed such that the only way to release all three keys needed to open the panel would be to turn the power off. The idea is to make safety idiot proof. Now, because these three cores are connected, it creates an interesting picking situation. I'm going to pick all three cores while tensioning only one plug. We can do that because the torque is transferred in the mechanism in the back. Unfortunately, though, that significantly diminishes my feedback, and considering that these are all seven pin locks with both good tolerances and pretty good bidding, it should make for a very challenging pick. So let's get to it. I'm using this standard hook in 25 thousandths. Hopefully that should be enough to take care of all of this nasty bidding here. Okay, I think that's number five. Got to click there. Click out of six. And I think I got something on seven. One, two, little click on three, something on four. Little click on five, nothing on six or seven. One, two, three, four. There we go. Click out of five. Felt a little bit of movement on that core. Nothing on six or seven. One is binding nicely. Click there. Nothing on two. Three is binding tightly, and we got the first of the three cores open. The next two should actually be harder because neither one of them will move at all until both of them are completely picked. So essentially, it's like picking one 14 pin lock with two keyways. Nothing on one, two, three. Click out of four. Nothing on five. Click out of six, and hmm, there we go. Click out of seven. He was giving me a little bit of trouble. Nothing on one, two. Click out of three. Nothing on four. Five is binding. Nice click out of five. Nothing on six or seven. Nothing on one, two, click out of three. I just felt a little click through this pry bar. I think that means the second core is picked, so let's move on to the third. Nothing on one, two, three, four, five. Little click on six. Seven is binding, definitely. Not sure if I set seven, but let's go back to the beginning. One, two, three, four. Little click on five. Little something. Nope, nothing on six or seven. One, two, oh, number three, four. Not sure what's holding us up here. Okay, I think five is binding. Nice click out of five. Six, seven. Okay, number two is binding nicely now. Click out of two, three, four, five. We must be pretty close. Oh, there we go, number one is binding. There we go, all three of them. And you see as I turn one core, all three of them turn. 
Okay, not too hard to pick, but certainly not what I would describe as either fast or easy. In any case, I think it's a really interesting lock. So that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.